Um, I have three minutes to explain to you what this is, so I will tr try to do my best. Most buildings are built today, like this. A building which performs well for here and now. But what about its future? Well, eventually most buildings are, end up like this. Why? They are static and in no way adaptable to changing needs. So what do we do? We reduce them to waste. We can no longer hide from the fact that we, uh, that we have a construction and a mission of uh, buildings that account for 50% of the energy consumption and a quarter of the total waste. We need structures that can adapt, to their, uh, that can adapt their shape and function and that need uh, uh, a possibility to change, to evolve, and to, to meet rapidly if, uh, circumstances. So this is further supported by the understanding that structures are not designed for an end state, but for a transition state, hence transformable structures. Transformable constructions is a broad field, but I would like to introduce you to a very particular subtopic of it, scissor structures, quite amazing, actually. What are scissor structures? Well, they are deployable systems who can transform from a compact closed state to a much larger open configuration, just like this. In architecture, they are used as mobile and temporary covers, as pavilions, exhibitions of our other structures used for recreational purposes. Well, the possibility and actually a sustainable aspect of them is that we can use them of, on different kinds of, of locations and for different kinds of applications, thanks to their transformable and transportable character. Conventional scissor structures are built out of a three-dimensional grid of a specific scissor unit. You can choose either translational units, either polar or angulated units. But we can expand this concept and go a little further by combining these three types of scissor units into one, the universal scissor component. Just like a mechano, this component is not specific but generic and it opens lots of possibilities for a sustainable construction. A, vari a variety of if it works, yes. a variety of designs is possible, differing in shape and in sizes and only using this one single universal component. So now we can design scissor structures who can be reusable on different kinds of location. We can disassemble them and we can use, uh, we can use the, the components several times in structures who are completely different in shape. But you can ask yourself, why all this trouble with these complex deployable scissors? Well, if only one of, or, or if only some buildings were built in a transformable way, just like these, that pile of construction uh, uh, waste you saw before wouldn't be so large. Thank you.